All right, y'all, we back with another episode of Explicit Content. I'm here with my boy, Quinn, Jiggy Quinn. What What's good, bro? How you feeling, man? What do, man? Oh, man, we ain't social distancing. Look. Keep it down. No, yeah. <laughs> there we go. No Shit. doubt, though. So, how 2020 treating you? Man, 2020 has been treating me. I mean, I don't know. I guess it's treating all of us a certain way. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, I've been getting my work done. You know what I'm saying? With school. Right. Because everybody you, say you priority first. Year. You feel me? Prioritize. School first. I go to Morehouse. So, right, so get you my school work right. done. And, you know, Spectrum still working. We in a, you know what I'm saying? In a plan phase. I'm still, you know what I'm saying? Do commissions there and here and there. But for the most part, we in quarantine now. So, that's, right, so that's where I've been. In the so, house. So you are like I, I said before, you graduated from Morehouse this year, right? Oh, well, I gra- I graduated in December. I'm, I'm gonna be done in December. I'm a dual major. You feel me? Economics right. and cinematography. So right. I always had five years. So let's start there first. I know you did a semester in LA. Yeah. Um, so working on your film and stuff. How was that? It was amazing, bro. Amazing, really amazing experience. Like people always be like, yeah, it's amazing. It's, like it was really amazing experience. Like so, like hands on experience. Like learning how to. What drove you, you know to go to LA saying? to pursue that? Well, my big brother out there. You know what I'm saying. Okay. Um, New York Film Academy. My brother had also did a program there. He told me how like lit it was. Like Your brother went for to him, right? yeah, Justice, okay. Justice, yeah. Both my brothers went to Morehouse, Justice and Leon. So, but my middle brother had went to to NIFA, You feel me? He told me it was a good experience. So, I went and checked it out. That's myself. the LA school. Yeah, it's okay. in it's, it's New York Film Academy, but they have an LA, LA campus. campus right, uh huh. And Burbank. It's in Burbank, okay. Hollywood. So, right, so you, I was going to say you was out there in the sunshine. Mm-hmm. 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 All right, so Sweet. before you went to L.A., um, before Morehouse, you was born in Little Rock, right? Yes, sir. Little Rock, Arkansas, born so, and raised. I understand you did a lot of work in Little Rock, um, not-for-profit work in your mm-hmm. high school days. You want to talk about yeah, that? Yeah, for sure. So, like, in Little Rock, basically, like, you know, small town in the south. Uh, I went to Little Rock Central High School. That's a national historic, you know what I'm saying? Everybody knows about it. You don't know what Little Rock, Rock is. You're not black like, Yeah, man. exactly. Damn near, you really not, exactly. You know, Little Rock 9 and shit, but, you know, being there really always gave us a sense, like, being such a little town, like, damn, we we still mean something, you know what I'm saying? We got, we yeah. still, like, a part of the culture, you feel me? Same and that just, so, yeah. exactly, so you, you feel that same, you know what I'm saying, that synergy, you feel me? But, like... Little Rock, we was we was doing this nonprofit work towards my like 11th, 12th grade year, and you know how like y'all got the job program in high school. Like right. sometimes you could leave early to go to your like your right. work and shit. Like I I went to an office. Like they had like an office set out for me. Like the city of Little Rock, it was doing all the fiscal sponsorship for BMOS. That's what the nonprofit was called. Boys and Men's Opportunity and Success Team. You y'all can still that? check it out. Yeah, me and my brother and my father, we all started that together for real, for real. And now it is a whole, like, liter- literally a community program in Little Rock to this day. BMOS.org, if y'all want to check them out. <laughs> all right, so, um, all right, damn, so that's dope, BMOS. So when you started that, uh, how long did that run? Um, so I was literally, so my 11th and 12th grade year, I would, I would leave school, like, at about literally one, two Go to my office. Okay. I sit up on on the phone with the mayor. Tell him, ask him about the statistics. Right. We go to all the city directors of all the wards, and we would talk to them about what's going on in the neighborhoods. You know, what I'm saying, trying to get more policing in certain areas, trying to figure out more, better ways in policing. You know, what I'm saying, like trying to figure out how we can get to the youth and stuff. And that's really what the program was about. Is trying to find like more youth leaders like me that can really tap in with the youngest right. and be like, yo, it's a different narrative. We are from the same place. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a different narrative, though. You feel me? Like, That's what I was y'all know I'm so. finna go to Morehouse and shit. Like, like with, a, with a city like Little Rock, you feel me? So culturally rich and, you feel me, civil rights and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, what What kind of drive did you have that was different from the rest of the... For the, real? You feel me? The I'm citizens, saying. what was that like? You feel me? Or what motivated you to start one of these... You know what I'm saying? At, at yeah. such a young age, 11 yeah, years. Yeah, like, I mean, that's what I'm saying. That's why I feel, I feel like time is of the essence. Like, I feel like it was that bad, almost. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you all the like shit that was going on around me, like, I'm feeling like, damn, we... If nobody gonna do nothing about it, I gotta do something about it because it's that bad. You feel me? And pe- anybody can look up the research on Little Rock. They got FBI statistics and shit. Like, it's really not... Not... You know what I'm saying? It's not the safest place, but I ain't just gonna just be like whatever. You feel me? So how did you feel like from somewhere? You feel, you feel me? The outside world now. You feel me? Yeah. Atlanta type shit. Yeah. How, how, you, how you feel that? I mean, Atlanta is a whole different. Atlanta has that has the same like you know what I'm saying. It, it gets gutter here. You feel right. me? But it's still it's still like 
it's a lot of people from everywhere else too you know what i'm saying so it's like that respectability factor in atlanta you know what i'm saying when you meet somebody you really don't know where whether they're gonna be from the a or not so you really kind of just you know what i'm saying you everybody kind of move with a certain way here in the a nobody on some you know what i'm saying so coming coming to morehouse did you or what did you continue with uh with your, your start with your coalition you so started? like so I know you changed the kind of movie yeah right exactly yeah, so, we'll get there, so yeah so when I came to Morehouse, freshman year type, so like Brazil. It, it was no exactly Brazil, Brazil, B row. You know what I'm saying? So when we was when I was in Brazil, bro, we was trying to come up with something to do then, bro. You feel me? Because B most, I had that, that's why we let the city have it because I I graduated. You feel me? So when I you really, say let the city have it, what did that mean? Like we really literally sold them the rights that we sold. Sell we, sold we sold. We sold the can program. I mean, it, it can be disclosed. I mean, it's like. We didn't sell it for a certain amount, but they literally fund us every year. You feel me? Okay. So everything that goes on, and it's like a, a like a contract. You feel me? So it's not a disclose. It's not. It's not a, a specific amount every single time. But I can tell you, they have more than five hundred thousand dollars in fiscal sponsorships a year. And you can you, yeah, yeah you can look at that on their website from, was that any, from the uh rockefeller foundation the walton foundation did you see like any revenue from that or no i mean when you, you you see a lot of revenue for sure because we do the programs you know what i'm saying so when you're just selling the tickets right. and you're doing all the merch and all that stuff yeah, exactly you're doing all that work so i know you exactly, want to be paid for your work I exactly that. yeah but i wish i could have i mean i got paid on a salary you feel me like the city paid me you feel me they paid me on a salary but I was in high school, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was just a dude. mad genius. I was really just a young little little one that really knew how to like curriculum these, you know what I'm saying? These transgressions almost. Like like just the little like yo, the cool stuff. How That's do thing, how do you make it into like a program? You a know lot what I'm like saying? Professionals or doctors, you know, they don't yeah. know how to put it on that level for exactly. us. Like, exactly. Exactly. You feel me? Like that exactly. shit got to be broken down. That's what I did. I, I synthesized that shit, bro. <laughs> so when you came to Morehouse, uh, you, like you said, you were trying to start something to do freshman year. Yeah, we were trying what, to figure it out. Up, we were trying to with? figure it out. So, what, so by like by, by like my sophomore year, uh, me and my my business partner now, his name is Roland Bland Mo. It's my boy Mo. What's up, Mo? Um, we we came together and we was like, all right, let's do let's do. All right, we was like, we gonna start an agency, right? And at first, it was like marketing influencer agency it was just that you feel me now it's all of that but it's like we started so like secular like we were just making videos for like rappers and shit like i started like i had got like a video with like little dude like drug rich heck um like you know what i'm saying drug rich peso like all this all in like 2017 like when that shit was actually hot like like hood rich money power respect you feel me like i'm doing all day vlogs and all that shit you feel me so boom then we like, all right, I came back to the drawing board and I'm like, yo, because it wasn't a lot of money in that shit. You feel me? It was no, really just sure. being around niggas. You don't really even get paid for yeah, shit like that. Too, That's too. just like pro bono. You feel me? That's what they call sweat equity. You feel me? So I know about I'm, yeah, Exactly. You feel me? It's, it's any freelance work. You have to do sweat equity. You have to in oh, any okay. freelance work, period. You feel me? So, you know. We, I came back to the drawing board. And I'm like, how can we evolve this into something where I can make a living fucking wage at least? You know what I'm saying? Like, I want it to be me, but I at least have to come up with something that is livable and, and at least get my bros on too. You feel me? So I'm like, let's do an app. And it, it's so funny how everything starts so small, but it becomes so big because like, right. like we just thing. exactly, exactly like we just wanted to, we just wanted an app. And man, back then I don't even can't even remember what the fuck I thought then. But now it's for it's for mobile portfolios. It's to connect independent creatives, like the most obscure and underrepresented, uh, aesthetically pleasing creatives you can find. Connect them with the highest corporations you can find, and even shit, small businesses and corporations locally. You feel me? All of that for marketing, promotions, influencing, all the nine, the whole nine. You feel me? So we trying to put. Which I'm creative. Well, now we have a platform and a tool. You feel me? I got a, a platform that's called Spectrum. We building that out. That's going to be a mobile app. You can go to the website at spectrumlabs.com to check out what we got going on. As far as like all the work we've done, we got some stuff done with free bands, YSL. We got a uh, hype magazine. You name it. You can go check out all that. That's all the content creation that we, you know what I'm saying? All the stuff that we've done over time. And then we have another website called the MRC.org. That stands for the Modern Renaissance Coalition. 
And that's, that's, a, that's, that's the project chapter. network. That's the, exactly, that's the new chapter to the nonprofit to the nonprofit swag because the Modern Renaissance Coalition is a 501c3. It's filed as a nonprofit. Um, and it is to help it. So the app, that's a public app. That's a free app, right? My app is going to be free. Out no? Yeah, no, nah, it's not. It's when not you, out. You plan to launch it? I'm trying to launch it this summer, bro. I'm trying summer. to get it out this summer. summer. Hold me to that, y'all. Hold that. You know what I'm saying? We got really developers working on wireframes and all that. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. But I mean, it costs a lot of money to build an app. I want y'all to look up how much it costs to build an app. You feel me? And if, you know what I'm saying? If you can get me right, get me right. You feel me? But nah, though, we working on it. You already know. You know what I'm saying? So, it's right, 60 so. ball to get an app done, bro. Really like a hundred to get a, a hundred ball to get an app done. An app like the one I want done. You feel me? So with MRC, um, you said that's gonna be like a new base of your, your non for profit, right? Yeah, new non profit. So Modern Renaissance Coalition is all about helping the the underserved. You feel me? So I wanna go, I wanna go to the schools and I wanna help get these kids into creative careers. You feel me? Okay. Like with the most, what we were doing, we was going to like juvenile detention centers and we was teaching niggas just 21st century skills. That's what we called them. You feel me? And it was like, you know what I'm saying? Learning how to, you know what I'm saying? Do a business plan or something like that. Now I wanna do something to where we literally figure out like, boom, each one of y'all build a website. Boom, each one of y'all get an LLC. And then I can go to the I could go to the foundations and I can get that budgeted in in my grant. I could be like y'all, y'all I need I need enough to pay for a whole class of niggas LLCs on LegalZoom. You feel me? And and that is it, impactful. I'm creating business owners. You know what I'm saying? Like that's really impactful. Like people don't even understand how so, impactful that nonprofit shit can get. Have you thought about like what the future of nonprofits may look like with coronavirus? Or? Yeah, bro. Everybody's been talking about this shit, bro. Like even with movies, even it, that's on a tangent, but even with just everything I'm in, everything I'm in, like I've been talking I mean, it's like, a, it's you know what I'm saying? It, right exactly. Now. Every field they be talking about like productions, productions will never be the same, you feel me? Like you nigga, how we going, you know what I'm saying? Like being on a set, they going to have to Everybody knows sets are dirty as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Movie sets are like, if you didn't know that, as a nigga who's worked on multiple movie sets, I'll tell y'all, them joints is dirty. You feel me? I, were, I was working on movie sets literally 2017 in New York. You know what I'm saying? Right. And during the summer. Like, D.L. Hughley, uh, Aspire TV. You feel me? But like, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be a lot different, bro, with Corona, bro. Everything is. Like, oh, my God. Like, What's your nonprofit work, think about it. If they don't open back up the schools, how am I going to even get the curriculum? Right, now, that, that was I'm a, I'm a, I, But I could put it in a book, though. I, it's, it, like, I'm, I'm a smart, I'm a creative nigga, you feel me? I could end up writing a whole book, you feel me? Like some real hard shit, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you could just push it through through the app 100%. You feel uh -huh, you exactly, the whole through curriculum the through, app, through, the app, through the app. app. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah. look. So, so what, what, I mean, you feel now, me? now he turned me up. Look. <laughs> What's your take on Corona? <laughs> what is my take on it? Man, Corona, y'all. Corona is dangerous, y'all. Corona is dangerous as hell, bro. Y'all really need to, like, all that, wash your hands, shit. I mean, it's cool, but look, bro. Y'all just need to, like, stay away, like, like this linkage we got going on right now, like this is different. Like y'all not y'all not cleared. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas ain't cleared nah, to be around me and shit. Like <laughs> we're like no cap, but like no cap though. Just be just be clean, y'all, bro. God trying to send a plague on our ass, man. Like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like nah, but it's, I don't think so for real. I'm being facetious. I know, but like, some all right, my real take, my them. real take, my real take on God. I think it's something like that. I know it's I know. I won't say it just like that because it's not enough evidence, but I'll say it's enough evidence to see that it's something deeper than just a virus going on right now. You feel me? As far as politics, what's going on to the economy, like everything, like the whole world, bro. Like the world is fucked up. And it, I think it's something that they're not telling us about the virus, though. You feel me? Like as far as like how deadly it is, because goddamn, fool. Like... No, you know what I'm saying? Niggas is dying the from they that say, shit. They say, like, you know what I'm saying? They say niggas over from Corona, but, like, even if you die during Corona. It's like the complications. Like, it's not it's, yeah. it's because Corona. Does. So you can have cancer and die because of cancer. Yeah. But it's because Corona, you're, you're dead. You feel me? It's, it's Corona. I don't, I, don't mean, nah. like I don't know how I feel about that either because so, it's misleading. It's extremely misleading. Because it's, it's like, nah, I feel it, though. Because then again, think about it like this, though. 
Say a nigga right. Say a nigga, you know, you, right. you got breathing problems already, right? They say that shit fuck up your respiratory system. So I say, you know, whatever with the whoop, the shit get to going crazy and the nigga can't breathe. But is it because how are we the ones to say like now, like it wasn't the Corona, you know what I'm saying? Cause you know what I'm saying though? Cause he would have already died already of his, you know, you know, it's just, right. it's, it is what it is so, type yeah, shit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas is dead, bro. The bless, bless their hearts. No cap. <laughs> moment, of, moment of silence, bro. Moment of silence. Um, yeah. But back on your uh, creative shit. Yeah. I understand, you, like you said, you do a lot of work um, through Spectrum. But yeah. I understand you do a lot of work independently and freelance. For you sure. did a lot of shit with Young Bands. Yep, yep. You want to so, talk about that one? Uh, yeah, my boy Bands. So Bands, uh, you know, Free Bands, period, the label. Uh, if you go through the Spectrum page, we have um, a slew of content from all their artists. Uh, Future, Casino. Guap Tarantino, Young Bands, all that. Uh, and that's because uh, of my boy, Fred Foster. He's the main creative director at Free Man's. Mm -hmm. You ever heard of Cease and Desist? Right, right, right. Call the line. Right, right. So, like, uh, shout out to Fred. That's my boy. Um, he was one of the first people that actually, like, really fucked with me, period. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he had a fashion show. And that's really the way I met a lot of people. He had a fashion show. And I was the assistant director of it. And, like... Everybody was there, bro. Anybody you you want to name, bro. Like, I met so many people there, bro. Like, and it was really just a blessing on God, cause I was, that was like my junior year. And you know what, this creative shit, shit can get slow, bro. Nah, I'm gonna be the first one. You can get it, it, it can get it's slow. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta really be confident in yourself. I know people. A lot of people that know me, they feel like I'm already cocky as hell and all that. But really, it's like. When you just know that you're capable, you just gonna move that way. You know what I'm saying? You move with a certain amount of respect. You move with certain motherfuckers, and like it just, it's just that. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, nah, that's real. And I just try and keep it true. I don't have no e and you know this, bro. You know what I'm saying? Niggas that really know me though, personally, like yeah, personally, personal, bro, and exactly, bro. I don't have no ego with none of this shit. None of this shit. I, I don't met and talked to and worked with a lot of niggas you feel me i have no ego with none of that shit none of it you feel me it's it's a, just a blessing to um express like we we privileged and blessed bro if we sitting up here able to make money off of art and shit like that's just fun. really even just you know what i'm not, saying doing this being able, able to have the leisure to have conversations like this and, not able you know what i'm saying like bro trust me bro we blessed bro you know what i'm saying like so either or um i know you said back on your your brother justice uh ice what's up so yeah i remember him uh freshman year going back to brazil yeah, fresh me, you're cam. coming in. Yeah, I was gonna say AUC cam. How did you feel? Uh, AUC cam, you feel like I set you up in a nice spot? Yeah, or how like was coming that? in? Like, coming in, both my both my brother and Leon, just all the niggas they knew, like from Morehouse, bro. Like, coming in, like, it was just dumb. And, and I'll tell you, when I when I graduated, I didn't want to go to Morehouse, though, even though both my brothers had went, I just mm -hmm. didn't want to go really for that reason. I was really Thank just. You, I was actually I was I was always a rebel. I want, yo, Howard. exactly. I was going to go to HU. Trust me. I was going to go to Howard. She would have been different if niggas went to Howard, bro. But I'm blessed. We blessed. We went to Morehouse, bro. Everything we happened for a reason. Everything happened for a reason. And we made the right decision. And, like, you know, Justice and then they set me up for sure, bro. Simply put, bro. They... They had the big bros, and you know how it is at Morehouse. Being at Morehouse See, in itself Morehouse is, is a fraternity. You know it's a, it's a fraternity a fraternal, brotherhood in itself. And then for you to actually have order, you know, real you know brothers in that bitch. And my oldest brother, he graduated in 2009. Leon Chills, you feel me? So he's, okay. he's, he's a writer, you know what I'm saying? He's a renowned writer in L.A. He does his thing. So his whole premise, he's always been a great example so for me. So when the family film coming? Bro, soon like he just he just sold a a, a script to Lionsgate, Shadow Forest. It got uh, Sterling Brown, Kerry Washington attached to it. They producing and they starring in it. So like, uh, shoot, I'm I, you I, have some I, so I be associate producing. I'll say you have some time. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Like that's real. I'm trying. You know what I'm saying? We go. Anything can be worked out. At the end of the day, I gotta still like I like the way I am. I think I feel like people think I'm cocky because I think like this, but. I got to do my own shit. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Like, you don't eat Leah, I did, and, I, and you know what I'm saying? I just can't just because it's just the type of person I am. You feel me? Like, if my brother put me in a position, yeah, for sure. Like, I'm in there. But, like, as far as, like, 
I'm a, if anything, I'm gonna leverage it the best way I can and and still in my realm. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not the other way around. You feel me? Like I'm not gonna use nobody. You feel me? Let alone my, let alone my brothers. You know what I'm saying? But you know, work is work, bro. We just gotta put in this work, bro. We just anything, gotta put in this work as anything. much as we can, bro. So all right. So anything else you got come? I know you got MRC coming. Um, yeah. The app so, is gonna get launched this year. We gonna yeah. speak that to existence. So the MRC, like, I need everybody, if you are creative right now, to go to the MRC.org and sign up. It is free right now. And that's going to keep them updated? It, exactly. It's gonna, yeah, exactly. It's going to add you to the newsletter, and it's going okay. to keep so you. Yeah, it's going to that newsletter so y'all can see when the app come out. Exactly. So that's the thing. I'm, I'm interested. I want to sign up for the app for sure. Yeah. Because um, basically what you sell, it you turn right So listen, with the MRC, once you sign up for it, it's going to ask you what type of creative you are right. and all that on the website. You feel me? So... The whole point is right now it's free. Soon when I do like when I when I do the campaign, you feel me, and we really put the influencers behind all that cool stuff. Like we're gonna definitely add like you know what I'm saying application fee. It's gonna just be more because the the real incentives we we can't just have it for free when the members are gonna really start to you know what I'm saying like reap the incentives that we have in place set up. You know what I'm saying for our members and our users. You feel me? Right now it's free though. So go to MRC.org. We're going to try and put it down like below, something like that. I got you. All right, man. So look, let me get you these questions before you get out of here. Yeah, for so, sure. Should I ask everybody? Okay. All right, so first, how do you like your women? Light skin, dark skin? Mm, light skin. All right. WWE or UFC? WWE. Okay. But I mean, nah, I mean, I actually fuck with both. I'm actually a very, very avid UFC MMA fighter. Like I that. know about that shit. All like, right. I'm... Dave yeah. Beast G Herbo. G Herbo. Okay. okay. Flights or drums? Drums. Wigs or sewing? Huh? Wigs or sewing? Like, oh, w- wigs? I don't know. <laughs> I, like, like, I hate that shit. I like natural you hair. You like natural hair? Me too. Yeah. Okay. All right, Adidas and Nike. Man, my girl got that shit in. Uh, Nike. Nikes. Checks over stripes. Power or Empire? Like. Huh? Power Empire. <laughs> Bro. Like, huh? Both that shit. Chill. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Both. <laughs> oh yeah, you are you are a writer, so yeah, both them shits whack. I tell y'all, uh, from a writer's from a writer's point of view, I tell y'all, both of those are joints are whack. I suggest Snowfall. All right. I suggest The Wire. And matter of fact, I wow. wrote I wrote a write up um on The Wire, and I got to interview one of the main actors from it, Michael, uh, my boy Mac Trey Mac Wild. You know what I'm saying? Y'all should go check that out. That's on the MRC.org too. That's on uh, that write up is on my website. All Y'all right. should check that out. Flats or drums? Drums. Right. You finna get real though. Floyd or Tyson? Floyd. Undefeated. Alright. The baby or little baby? <laughs> little baby. Real street nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Jay Z or Kanye? Yeah, I'm a yay nigga. Niggas tell me I'm okay. like Kanye, man. Alright, last one. Biggie or Pop? I was always a West Coast, West Side ass nigga, you feel me? So my nigga Tupac, you know what I'm saying? I gotta yeah, go with yeah, my yeah, nigga yeah, Pop. Yeah. They set him up, the Illuminati did. <laughs> All right, man, it's been real. Appreciate you, my boy G. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna keep it right. right yeah, so I appreciate it. it. Go ahead, give me a social media so they can find you. Yeah, Jiggy Quinn on Instagram. Follow uh, Spectrum Labs on Instagram. That's S P C T R M Labs and on Instagram, big. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Jiggy that's Quine. it, man. Check out all the content next yeah. week. See y'all. That was good, bro. Oh, oh God, that was good. That's it. Yeah, I was gonna say I ain't do your questions, bro. What questions? You say you got redo your shit?